Hello, I'm That James Guy, and today we're going to be talking about start-stop systems. Uh, these are the things that have been creeping into our new cars for the last few years, and most people don't think it actually does anything, and I'm one of those. Um, all it does is uh, create more revenue for the car companies to sell uh, starters and alternators and all sorts of things like that. But my mind got changed today, and I'm going to tell you why. So I talked about the start-stop system in my 2013 BMW 328i named Betty. I talked about it in my video when I introduced her. It's an early generation, so it's very abrupt. When it fires back up, it stops at the light and then it fires back up. So I usually just turn it off. Um, but for the last two months, it hasn't worked. It's just, it's never shut the engine off. And that was, I think, because the car got left on the side of the road with a flat tire with the hazards on and the battery died. We had to boost it, ended up at a body shop uh, to fix some damage that occurred. And uh, it just hasn't worked for two months. I figured maybe the battery's a bit weak. Um, the system's noticing, so it just won't do it. Uh, today, I was driving home from downtown Vancouver. So we're talking stop and go traffic. And suddenly, it stopped at a light. And I thought, ooh. Betty's mended herself. She's good now. And I didn't think much of it, but then a few minutes later I thought, hey, I'm going to check to see what my fuel mileage is doing. And there's a bar graph chart that I can pull up. And I took a look at it, and I was shocked. Now I'm a believer in stop-start systems. Here you can see on the right side the fuel mileage, the bar graph. So it's in liters per hundred kilometers, which if you're used to miles per gallon, um, instead of more being better in liters per hundred kilometers, less is better. Uh, you can see a distinct difference between the right side and the left side. The right side, just looking at the bars, or it's looking at about, the average was about 11 liters per hundred kilometers, which is about 21 miles per gallon. And on the left side, you can see the most ridiculous change. I mean, there was a lot of stop and go, sitting at traffic lights for a few minutes at a time, so the engine, instead of idling, just shut off. That's pretty substantial. 7 liters per hundred kilometers, 34 miles per gallon on the left side. I'm a believer now. And, I mean, yeah, I don't have a lab coat on. I'm not measuring fuel uh, into like special, special metered containers. But the graph kind of speaks for itself. So if this was helpful in any way, or at least mildly entertaining for you, please like the video and hit the subscribe button, and I will see you next time.